Hey there, it's Cooper Codes. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at preventing cross-site scripting attacks in React. We're gonna be taking a look at some actual React code samples, but before we do that, I'm gonna go through some slides discussing what cross-site scripting is and the vulnerabilities that are specific to React. So what is a cross-site scripting attack? Pretty much this first client here is going to post a comment, for example. But instead of posting, you know, a regular comment, he's posting an HTML script and it can have any JavaScript he wants inside of here. So when the other user loads in the comments, instead of loading in the actual string of this comment here, he's going to load in a script into his HTML. The script can have whatever the attacker wants inside of it. And so it can be super dangerous and it can also just mess up the functionality of your web application, especially with React. So we can take a look at this very basic example of a website called codebook.com. Let's just assume that there's some type of functionality where users can submit posts. So this first post here says, hey guys, this site's awesome. The second post says subscribe to Cooper Codes. We can assume that to create these posts, users have some sort of text input, but there's someone who's decided to make a malicious post where the title of his post, for example, is actually a script. This will then get rendered as an actual HTML script and it will alert one to the user. And so this script, like I said before, could be anything. And so this is incredibly dangerous because you could have, you know, a script that runs an infinite loop, for example, therefore crashing your website. So you need to be careful when you allow users to use text inputs or any type of input for that matter. A great thing about React is that it has cross-site scripting protection by design because of one important thing, is its string variables are escaped automatically. So let's just say I have the text script alert 10 script. It's going to be seen as the string of those characters. It's a subtle but incredibly important difference. This thing right here, my mouse is hovering right now, is an actual HTML element. This thing is a string of a, you know, opening character, closing character, the letter A, letter L. It, the HTML does not see it as the same way if it's a string versus an actual element, for example. And so on the React portion I have on the side here is a very basic class-based component. And you'll see it says, hello, username. The const username is set equal to a script, for example, but this is going to render as a string of these things, not the actual script HTML element itself. All right, so I built this little tutorial application to show you guys a bunch of different XSS vulnerabilities. There are the top three XSS vulnerabilities that I have commented here. So I'm going to go over those first, then I'll show you guys how the inputs can create vulnerabilities in your website. So the first vulnerability is when you allow an attacker to control the props of an HTML element. So this is pretty much just an object to hold these props and then it's going to use dangerously set inner HTML. Then that inner HTML is going to be an image that has an alert whenever it goes on error. The interesting thing here is this image tag works because when you set its source to an invalid image, for example, an image that doesn't exist, it's going to run this on error property, which is set equal to alert hacked. The second vulnerability in React is just using dangerously set inner HTML directly. As you can see here, we have a dangerously set inner HTML and then it's HTML properties being set equal to a user inputted text. So that is something you have to be super aware of is when you are setting HTML equal to input text, you're going to run into security vulnerabilities that are pretty significant. This is why React actually forces you to use this dangerously set inner HTML tag. The old inner HTML tag is deprecated. So it's super obvious in your code where you might have security vulnerabilities. And then the final way of an XSS attack happening in React is when you have a malicious href URL link. So if we have the A tag with an href, we can set its URL equal to JavaScript alert one, for example. This is going to cause that script to run when you click on the link. So let's take a look at the website and see how the vulnerabilities work in real time. So we have our React application here. You'll see when we refresh this React application, we are going to get a little message that says localhost 3000 says hacked. This is actually coming from the code where we have this div right here on line 21 where the props are set right away. So when this div loads in, it has these props that are controlled by the attacker and it's going to load in this image which is going to run this alert hacked right here for example. So if we go back to the application, we can also see if we click this button to get hacked, we can click on it and it's going to have that alert one that is coming from our URL that is at line 16 here. So that's another way you can have an XSS vulnerability. The final way you can have the vulnerabilities happen is through user input. So let's take this image over here, just the same one we used before, and we can paste it into our input here. We're gonna have to get rid of these backslashes, but when we have this image load in, it's then going to say hacked. 
what's happening is we have a div that is trying to show this image. And instead of showing the actual string, for example, if I were to type in like, hello world, see how it shows the actual string right here. Instead of that happening, what's going to happen is it's going to load in that malicious image like before. And then it's going to try and load it in and you're going to get hacked. So this is a pretty simple video, but these are the three main ways that React can become vulnerable to XSS attacks. Cross-site scripting is a very advanced topic with many different niches and just hacking in general it's hard to make your website 100% secure if you're not a security expert, but it's definitely nice to watch a video like this, for example, and get a nice overview as to what you should be watching out for when you are developing your React applications. I think an important takeaway for this video is that you need to be really careful when dealing with inputs in React. As long as you're aware that inputs are one of the main ways that hackers can kind of do their hacking on your website, then you are good to go in most cases. All right, so hopefully this video has been informative. Hopefully it's shown you a little bit more about how XSS attacks work. And thanks so much for watching.